Hey everybody, it's Justin for Justo Show here with you behind the scenes and then I want to make a quick video to show you how to create a 3D space. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is, well, first thing you have to understand, every layer is like a piece of paper. So, I'm going to draw, I'm not going to use any strokes on this video, so. Because I, I think you just get a, it, it's just less hassle when it comes to the strokes when you make a 3D, a 3D space room. So let me get the wall covered. Okay, so I have a wall color. And this, this first layer, it's a piece of paper. This piece of paper, this is the drawing that I have. Let me turn this on. So this is my drawing. I can do anything. If I move this, the points, that's just my drawing being positioned on the piece of paper. Now, if I come over here to these layer tools, the layer tools is actually the physical paper. So if you take your actual physical paper and like turn it on the back, that's pretty much what you're going to see. This is the back of my paper. This is the front of my paper. So I'm going to reset that. Now, what I want to do is draw all of my walls flat on this piece of paper. And then I'm going to take my piece of paper each wall I'm going to set the origin point and then I'm going to turn my paper to make like a paper house and this is how we're going to make our 3d space so first thing I like to do is zero out my drawing on the piece of paper and then I'm going to call this center and then I'm going to make this four and then I'm gonna do one more. We'll call it left. Now, yeah. So everything is centered. Now, what I want to do is for the floor, you can either take put your origin point on this line or this line. But I am going to go on this line. That way, I can just flip it straight down. So I'm gonna get the uh y the y coordinates from these two points and i'm going to go to my origin and i'm going to insert that to be my origin so now my origin is down here instead of in the middle now what i'm going to do but before i do that i want to change the color of this for so you can see it okay yes yeah, it's, it's it's behind the left so let me turn the left off so there's my my floor so now I'm going to take this piece of paper this is how you rotate it on the X or Y axis and I'm just going to flip it down oh wait I want to do it on the X axis so flip it down 90 degrees alright and then I'm going to take this floor and I'm going to make a ceiling and I guess I'll just paint the ceiling like a that color now what I can do I'm gonna take my physical paper that I folded or fold down like a hinge door or something and just drag it up you see how the 3d effect is taking place that's that's cool right so I'm gonna set that right there <clears throat> now I'm gonna turn my left wall back on and then I want to change the color of this one to be a little darker and before I do anything I want to add a door, doorway, and a window. So I'm just going to add this window, and I'm going to add this right there. Then I'm going to take those. Let me turn the center wall off. Now, in Moho 12, you can actually weld points. So I'm just going to do this, and then bam, bam. So if you're thinking about upgrading, there's a reason to upgrade right there. And let me actually pull this ceiling ceiling. Actually, wait. Um one thing to note, if I was to paint in here right now, it'll make a new like a whole new little points and stuff because here's the reason why this has happened. Uh so when I select this and then I try to select the door, there's no break point anywhere to say, hey, this line needs to be uh, excluded. So that's why 
this happens in case you ever run into that issue so what I want to do is I don't want this to be painted so I'm going to put a break point down here so now it'll take every point in this point but I don't want this point so I want to hold shift and alt and deselect that and now when I paint it it didn't work well you know what because I got on stroke so it did work booyah oh wait I forgot to get my window too I don't want the window so I just click that so booyah now for the window I think I'm, I'm gonna try this I haven't tried this yet but I'm gonna try it right now so that way you can see because I've been experimenting with a lot of stuff so I want to make this oh uh, kind of like transparent and then we're gonna feel that so make it a little bit more like that alright so I have a doorway and a window now what I'm gonna do is I am going to take now right here I can take put the origin point right here and flip it this way or I can put the origin point here move it over and flip it this way where the door will be farther away from us but I'm gonna just go ahead and keep it easy and put the origin point right here actually let me grab the X and then take the origin point and put that on the X and then if you click this and you hold shift you can actually rotate it and then that way you can see which way which rotation is doing so I'm gonna go ahead and put 90 so I have a perfect 90 degree now I'm gonna take my floor take these two points and I'm gonna drag it out a bit more and then I'm gonna do the same thing with my ceiling take these two points uh oh wrong way drag it hold I'm holding shift by the way too and now I have a center wall and then I'm gonna copy this and make it uh, right and then I'm just gonna take this point get these coordinates put the origin point on those coordinates and then I'm gonna flip it this way 90 degrees now now I know it looks a little crappy but we actually have a 3d space and in the next video I will show you how to make it look even better but, but to show you that it's 3d then me let's see center wall right yep left I want it to be the same color as this one all right now I mean I wouldn't well I mean you could put an extra wall here if you actually want to maneuver through your space and follow your character but you can just leave it like this and have it as a scene and that way you know you can go in and uh, get different angles so here is the 3d space and here is the window so let's say you can create your whole set like this and then you won't have to create any more um, like you don't have to draw any more angles so you just take your camera which I'm gonna show you that right now <clears throat> so the trick is with the camera if you hold alt while using the track camera if you hold alt and, and uh, pull down up or down you actually move the physical camera back and forth it's different between zooming in and zooming out so if I just zoom in and then I try to look here you see it's very it's very fast I'm not in the room let me zoom this back out but also if you hold shift you know you can go left pan left and right but I'm gonna hold alt and I'm going to take the camera in the actual room so now when I pan and tilt I can actually see the door and there's the outside the audience you guys <laughs> and then the rest of the corner wall so this is this is the actual camera now I can actually walk out the door with my camera so I'm gonna track camera and I'm a whole alt and I'm just gonna drag it down and then if I turn the camera around now we're outside the room we can see in the room and 
they're, 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 you know, there's your 3D space. That's awesome, right? And then, you know, just kind of pan left and right. So, go back up some more. It takes a little bit to get used to, but once you figure it out and play with it, you get the hang of it. It only took me, like, not even a day to figure this out. I was just hitting buttons and figure it out. Like, oh, hey, look, you know, I can do this. It's like, oh, that's awesome. And it just took me, like, a couple of days to get used to putting a 3D object together. So that's going to be the end of this video. Come back to the next video, and I'll show you how to make this look really 3D. So peace out, guys.